Dear professors, I'm Mr. Chongbo. My presentation today is motivated by my experience as an intern analyzing the lithium battery industry. At that time, Yuna Energy New Material Company, which featured the leading innovation ability in its industry, really appealed to me. I then noticed that the top executives of this company generally have overseas backgrounds. So, I'm conducting a study to test why the CEO with overseas background improves corporate innovation and try to distangle the causality from correlation. Organizational behavior is a reflection of a top executives' personal characteristics. When the CEOs become more able, the range of all choices that they can make will be larger. So, combined with the evidence and overseas experience benefits people in many ways, the upper echelon theory suggests that firms with overseas background and CEOs who are less restrained by bonded rationality can gain advantages in decision making. Consistent with this theory, we can notice an increased trend for firms to apply an overseas background and CEO in the Chinese market. Here, I postulated the hypothesis. First is that based on theory mentioned above, CEO overseas experience can improve innovation. The second is that uh, the incremental input in research and development is a channel for CEOs to exert influence. And for the third point, I argue that CEO power moderates this effect. As a CEO with more control power is supposed to face less internal restrictions when making changes. Thinking of a sample and a methodology, my sample consists of Chinese listed firms in the period 2010 to 2020, and the data are collected from the CSMAR database. I employ an industry year two way fixed effect model as a baseline and rigorous innovation on length independent variables. In the table of summary statistics, the mean of overseas indicates that 7.5% from years in sample point of a CEO with overseas background. Patent 1 and patent 2 are the natural logarithms of 1 plus the number of patents applied for in the year and 1 plus the number of patents granted in the year, respectively. The information on control variables is also presented in this table. The correlation matrix shows a positive and a significant correlation between overseas and the innovation proxies, providing preliminary evidence for our main hypothesis. Here, we can see the results of the baseline models. Column 1 and 2 show results from rigorous innovation on one year length independent variables. For robustness, results of the two year length models are also reported in column 3 and 4. All coefficients of overseas are positive and significant in statistics. To mitigate the self selection concerns, I rerun the baseline model using the matched sample. I use all controls as predictors to estimate the propensity for a firm to have an overseas backgrounded CEO and apply one to four matching. Differences in the predictor variables are eliminated after matching. Similar to the findings of the baseline model, the coefficients of overseas are all positive and significant except for column two. Therefore, hypothesis one is supported. Firms' patents are systematically correlated with firms' research programs. This table presents the results of the mechanism analysis. In column 2, CEO overseas experience is significantly correlated with the research and the development expenses. And when we add both overseas and uh, RD in column 3, the significance remains. Results indicate that uh, incremental research input is an indirect path when we multiply the coefficients together. The magnitude is around uh, 0 0.025. CEO power is key to the implementation of strategies. I expect that the CEO power can serve as a moderator. CEOs that simultaneously serve as board chairs are considered more powerful. This table presents the results of a group regression in which I supplied the sample regarding the CEO chair duality. We can find that the coefficients of overseas are only significant in the high control power group, which verifies hypothesis 3. To make a brief conclusion, I refer to the upper echelon theory to expect that the CEO overseas background leads to better corporate innovation and it has been empirically proved. A two-way fixed effect model and the propensity score match method are employed to analyze robustness. Important research is an important channel through which CEO characteristics can influence corporate innovation. What's more, I find that the effect becomes more prominent when CEOs are simultaneously the board chair, affirming the moderation factor of CEO power. Thank you for listening.